Good morning. Look how long it is. What a long sausage. Good morning, friends. Welcome back to another weekly vlog. I just went out and ran. I was about to say a couple of errands. It wasn't a couple. It was just one. We went to Pillow Talk and picked up a click and collect order because I'm about to rearrange my room. Not really rearrange anything, but just like get a new bed. I have a new bed base, a new mattress, and from Pillow Talk, I picked up a new doona, doona cover, and sheet set. I also have some pillows from Kmart, and I'm just so excited. I feel like it's been a long time coming with this bed. I've had this bed since I moved out of home four-ish years ago. It's lived its life. I'm gonna keep it and have it as my spare mattress like it's not going forever but I'm excited to upgrade, get a bigger bed. Whoa. Rachel's just off camera <laughs> keeping him busy. <laughs> I also have a bunch of packages that arrived yesterday while I was out that I want to open today but yeah the main goal is to just take out my old bed, bring in my new bed. I also have a new bedside table. Just a little bit of a refresh which I'm so excited about. So I posted this quote on her Instagram story last week saying like as a kid did you like rearrange your room all the time and like ask your parents to come in and look at it and I loved it and I feel like I haven't done that since living in this house even my last house anyway Rachel is here to help and help babysit Winston so he's not chewing and getting anything in the way honestly he'd get squished under the bed if someone wasn't supervising him look yes This is a little before of my room. I've had these bed sheets for ages. They're from I Love Linen and I love them. So I've kind of gone for the same vibe of my new sheets, just like flipped them around instead of white sheets. I'm having a white doona. We'll see, we'll see. But this is the before. There is fake tan on my bed sheets, so just ignore that. <laughs> So we're in Target. We set up the bed, we cleaned up a little bit, and we came to get throw some pillows and another bedside table. Turns out the bedside table that I got is click and collect only, and it's not available at any stores, which I didn't realize until right this second. Rachel's trying to be my interior designer, clearly not going well. <laughs> no, she's actually, I want her to be my interior designer, she's not helping me. I have this throw at home, right? A beige. Do we double the throws or do we not? There's this throw, which feels kind of fun. How do you say that word? I think it's boucle. Boucle. So, like, potentially stacked. Having some textures. I like textures. But I'm scared. And I'm overwhelmed by the pillow selection. So it's not a whole lot of other options here. No. I don't, like that one. I don't like the tassels really. Yeah. It looks like it should be a That has tassels. Uh, I kinda like the green yeah, this and white side. Fringe, it's not tassel, oh, yeah. I don't think. Yeah. And um, we also had snitch for lunch. Have you ever had snitch for lunch? <laughs> had schnitz for lunch. And it was so good. It was really good. And we're gonna get ice cream before we leave. <laughs> I should be working. We but both should be working. working. You'll be my PA for You're today. kind of working at the moment. Yeah. I really was like, do you want to come like help me with my bed? And then I stole you for the whole day. So sorry. I but also not sorry at all. I think I've decided I want this. Yeah, I think it'll be cute. Oh no. Ugh. If you've been watching my vlog since I got Winston, you would know about my dilemma about whether I wanted to crate train or not. So many of you gave me your opinions. I did a little bit of research on my own and the dog training that I'm doing in person and online really, really strongly recommended it. So decided to continue crate training. So far, Winston's just been sleeping in his little pet carrier from Kmart, but I just feel like it's a little bit too small and I just want to make something his home now so that he can have that pretty much for the rest of his life and he's not like switching, changing carriers once he's like three months in, if that makes sense. So I made an order on Pet Circle. Oh my god, did I look at two? I think I ordered two. Oh no. I was trying to decide whether to get a small or a medium and I decided to take a small but I think because I was adding small and medium, small and medium into my cart, I think I've ordered two. Surely not. My order wasn't that big. This is the one I got if you're wondering. It's from Pet Circle. How do I get this all the apart? I'm confused and the instructions are inside. I did it! Are you so 
so comfy in there. Yeah, that's good. Nope, 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 nope. That's not for you. Oh, it's such a small little bean. I've definitely just ordered two of those crates. I feel like it's going to be so expensive to return one. Anyway, I have no idea where this package is from. Hi, I'm Julia. I started a small business and when I saw you introducing Little Winston, I couldn't help myself but save the memory and draw the two of you. <gasps> I hope you love it as much as I love watching your vlogs and seeing you flourish. For now, I just have an Instagram. No need to promote it if you don't want to, but I just thought I'd send you a little something. Enjoy, lovely. It's so cute. Oh my gosh. Stop! Oh my goodness. I'm not crying. You're crying. That is way too cute. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, Julia. That is so, so kind. This is another package from Pet Circle because I ordered a slow feed bowl. I feel like so many dogs are just known for eating their food way too fast and slow feed bowls just make them slow down and like kind of do good work for their food. At the moment, I'm hand feeding Winston while I'm training him multiple times throughout the day, but there are times so I need to just like put his food in a bowl and like leave him to it. And that just kind of gives me peace of mind knowing that he's not scoffing his food down. He's going to hurt himself. I also ordered some Vitality Switch from Switch Nutrition because Soph raves about this greens powder. And as you know, I'm trying to drink more greens powder. So I'm excited to give this a go. It's in mango passion fruit flavor, which is fun. And then I got a little sample of another flavor as well. So that's exciting. The last package I had is from Princess Polly. As soon as I saw it on the website, I just knew I had to get it. Like I couldn't pass it up. Stop it right now. Is this not? the cutest dress you have ever seen in your entire life and the back is the ruche stretchy material so it's gonna fit so well just above my ankle which is cute i'm obsessed i can't wait to wear that it also kind of feels like kind of heavy anyway that is all of the packages i have to show you i'm gonna clean up all the mess in here i never even showed you the ending of my bed mainly because i'm not super happy with it yet i upgraded from a double bed to a king which is a little bit traumatic considering it's just me myself and i sleeping in every night but i deserve it like everyone deserves to sleep in whatever bed they want to sleep in and I want a big one. So I got a big one. These are just the cardboard boxes that I was just emptying. But I moved my bed in here because I have some guests coming to stay later this week. This is our random like living room thing that normally just has our table in it, but it's so big that like this is what it looks like currently. Winston loves his crate. Look at him go. Oh, buddy. I'm so proud of you. Watch him follow me. Hi. <laughs> Ding. This is what my bed looks like. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it is just huge, which is like, obviously it's a king, but it's just so, so big. My issue is firstly, the bedside table I bought is from Target and it just is too little for how high the bed is. No chewing the sheets, please. He's just gone for my slipper. There it is. Can I just say, I love my doona. I love my doona cover. I love my sheets, all from Pillow Talk. Got pillows from Kmart. My issue is, obviously it's a huge bed. And so there's a big gap on either end of the pillows because it's so big. We had a look online and a lot of bigger beds have big European pillows along the back that you just like throw off when you're sleeping. But they sit there throughout the day and they look way nicer than having that random little gap on the edge. So I think I'm going to buy three European pillows and then have my normal pillow sitting in front of it. And hopefully that can look a bit better. I also bought a throw to chuck over the corner and I need to buy some cushions, like decorative cushions, but I didn't find any today that I liked. And if I did like them, they were like $80 and I wasn't about to drop that on a cushion. So this is what we're working with so far, but it is so unbelievably comfy. Bed, base and mattress are both from Mobile Mattress. And then as I said, bedding and stuff from Pillow Talk. And then this dog needs to stop playing with my slippers. Anyway, it's currently 6.30 and I haven't had dinner. I haven't even thought about dinner yet. I'm also so sad that like Winston is getting so big. <laughs> He's such a small dog. Like I'm being ridiculous, but from the two weeks that I've had him, he's already getting so long and so big. Makes me sad. I need to have some dinner, have a shower, go to bed. I have a big day tomorrow. Oh my gosh. I never set my vlog live. Oh no. I'm going to do that now. I'm going to get myself situated, have a big day tomorrow. So like hopefully an early night. I'm going to stop rambling because this has been a 22 minute clip. Love you so much. Talk to you tomorrow. I definitely didn't make my bed and I'm not about to get up and make it. So let's just ignore that. Winston is in the background chewing one of my socks because he has so many toys and chooses to chew my socks. But hello. Very long story short, last week did not go to plan. And as you would have seen, I filmed heaps on Tuesday and then I didn't pick up my camera for the whole rest of the week. I was reading in bed on Tuesday night, my fresh new bed that I love so much. And I was so excited to sleep in. I was reading on my stomach and then I rolled over to roll onto my back and I pulled something 
think something twinged in my upper left back and it hurt so bad and then the following days after that I was at the physio I was doing stretches I was in so much pain I was crying multiple times throughout the day because it just hurt so much and like back pain is just the worst the physio gave me a bunch of exercises did them for a few days kept playing heat and I woke up one morning and it was just gone I still am tight but there is no pain there whatsoever which is just so good such a blessing I am so so happy to not be in pain anymore it was so rough and I was still trying to like do everything in my life I had some friends over I still had to get some work done I still have to play and like tire Winston out all the time literally just getting down on the floor to feed Winston like hurt my back like everything was just such a struggle so that just kind of took over my whole week and I didn't vlog I wasn't in the mood I was just so upset at life because I was in so much pain but that's why I didn't pick up my camera for the rest of the week anyway the other day I was driving in my car and I was listening to Emma Chamberlain's podcast but she did an episode I think it was called like a few of my recommendations or like a few of my favorite things or something along the lines and it reminded me of like back in the day like 2014 YouTube days where people would sit down and do favorites videos literally just people sitting down and chatting about their favorite things for that month and I just love hearing people talk about things that they love and I also feel like we're now at an age well if you're my age or older we're at the age where we can actually like buy the things that other people are recommending I feel like when I was 15 years old watching these favorite videos I had no money to buy anything that people were recommending so I kind of thought it would be fun for the second half of this vlog for me to walk around my house and show you a few of my favorite things I've been loving recently. You're gonna get cut out of this favorites video if you don't behave. Winston is definitely one of my favorite things recently. Even though he doesn't stop biting me, he whines when he goes in his crate, he whines when I leave the home, he pees inside. He is still the love of my life. He's my best friend and I genuinely couldn't imagine my life without him anymore. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Bye. I also posted this on my Instagram story last night but heaps of people have been asking me about his training which like I never thought I'd be sitting here like telling you how I train my dog but here we are. I've been using South End Training online. They're like an online subscription program kind of thing. You sign up, you pay for the subscription, you cancel it at any time and there's just so many videos on their website of how to train your dog. You can search for anything that you need help with and he'll probably have a video about it. I found really helpful. It's so overwhelming because every single person has a different opinion about dogs and how to train them. Even like I have a small following and people are still like always telling me such contradicting information and it's so overwhelming. So it's kind of nice to hear from like a professional who like knows what they're doing has been doing it for a really long time and you just getting to actually train your dog well so I've really been enjoying that to be fair the guy who runs it I think his name's Adam if I had met him like in person and he was like an in-person dog trainer in Australia I don't think I would like him in person because he's so like straightforward to the point so brutal and like I'm just not that kind of gal but because he's online it's just like videos you can watch anytime I feel like it's so manageable it's so easy and he explains everything really really easily so that's one of my favorite things as well recently because training a dog is hard lots of hard work and lots of patience and that's definitely been helping me a lot recently. I also want to rave about two pairs of shoes I've been loving recently. Firstly, these look so boring but these are my high top all white converse. I think I bought these from the Iconic. I'll try and link everything that I'm talking about below but I have, I also have the white high top converse that have the red and the blue stripe, the logo on the side and the back and I just never wore them and then I got these all white ones and I wear these five out of the seven days of the week. I love them so much. I also have them in the low top version but I'm just a high top converse scale through and through. These match so many gym outfits. They're so comfortable. I just love the all white sleek look. I just love them so much and if you go to the gym often and wear Converse all the time and you don't have this color yet, <laughs> this color all white, you need to because I just I love them. I think they're my most favorite Converse. So, big call, I know. And then I feel like if you're on the internet at all, you've seen this pair of shoes everywhere. I feel like every girl in their early 20s has a pair of these shoes. And honestly, I don't blame them. They're so great. These are from Princess Polly. I think they're a knockoff version of like the docks. So if you want to go and get the expensive version, be my guest. But they're so cheap in Princess Polly. And Princess Polly always have discount codes as well. They're just so good. They're so comfy. Kind of hard to see on camera because they're black. They have two straps, big, chunky platform base and they're just so comfortable and they just go with everything they match dresses jeans shorts so well and if i'm not wearing converse I am wearing these. We're now in the bathroom because I want to show you one of my makeup favorites. I've talked about this multiple times on my channel because I love it so much and I just honestly haven't found anything better. This is the It Cosmetic CC Cream. I have it in two shades, light medium for when I'm tan and then a lighter shade for when I'm a bit paler. It has 50 SPF which is so ideal and I just wear it every single day. I'll wear half a pump if I'm going to the gym. I'll wear a full pump if I'm just like going out wanting just like nice coverage. If I'm going out, out then I'll wear like a pump and a half. Like it's just 
so so great it says your skin but better and i couldn't agree more it's just 10 out of 10 i really love it so much if you watch my vlogs often then you've probably seen these items so many times because i have a coffee montage in at least every vlog firstly these glasses again i feel like you've probably seen these all over the internet because i feel like everyone has them at the moment i got a two pack from amazon to be fair i feel like they were kind of expensive i don't really remember but in saying that there are so many options on amazon so like you can always just choose the cheap option but i love them so much they are the perfect size for an ice latte any drink really i feel like so many glasses are either too short or too tall and this is just the perfect size i have my coffee of course he's playing with his loud toy. Anyway, I have a coffee in one of these every day and I love it so much. And to go along with making my coffee, I use one of these little glasses every single day. My brother got me a two pack of these for Christmas from Maya or David Jones. I'll try and leave a link down below, but I love them so much. They fit two shots of coffee in there perfectly and I use it every single day. It just makes me so happy. Like little things are just so cute and make me so happy. And then I feel like such an idiot just like talking about my favorite glasses, but I also have been loving my glasses straws recently i just feel like they are so superior to metal straws plastic straws any other straw ever rachel got me a pack of these from amazon they have straight ones and then like bendy ones as well so great 10 out of 10 if you're not making an amazon order after this video why not <laughs> and the last coffee product i want to rave about is the zarafa's sugar-free caramel syrup again i've talked about this so many times but for a very valid reason because it is so so good i don't really have to say much else it's sugar-free it's caramel syrup it's in a huge bottle I drink it every day. I'm in the lounge room because I want to rave about two TV shows that I've watched recently that I love and I think that you also need to watch ASAP. The first one is called The Wilds and it's on Amazon Prime Video and honestly, I feel like it's one of my favorite shows I've watched ever and it's like a very, very big call and I don't know if that's just because it's new and exciting or because I actually really do love the show. I'll leave a link to the trailer below, but basically it's a bunch of girls. They go on a plane to go away to a resort. The plane crashes and they end up stranded on an island. I will say that explanation just then and the trailer doesn't do the show justice. Like the show is so much better than the trailer. So if you haven't watched it already, I would highly recommend. They touch on so many like important topics about the world and life. And it's just like a bunch of young girls trying to navigate the young adult life and it's just so good i really really love it there's only one season but season two is coming out in may i believe so like now's the time to watch it to get excited for season two it's just so good i love it so much thank me later the second show is called love me and it's on binge grace and i watched it in one whole day i think i don't think there's many episodes maybe like eight or nine but it's just so good it's like kind of sad but also really happy at the same time the family that the show is based on there's a death in that family and it just shows how the different members of the family all handle grief really differently. I'm so sorry about him growling in the background. He's just playing. <laughs> Also, if you've watched The 100, Bellamy from The 100, I think his name is Bob Marley, like the actual actor, he is in Love Me and I love him so much. So like, if for no other reason, watch it for him, you know? We're in my office because I want to talk about books. I've really, really gotten into reading this year and I have my friends Rach and Soph to thank for that. They're always just raving about books and recommending books to me. Rachel is literally my personal library and librarian. She's always got the best recommendations and she has the hugest bookshelf ever and lends me all the books which is really ideal because one of the things I don't like about reading is having to keep the physical book at your house and like just have a bookshelf and I don't really want to have a bookshelf. This is my pile of books half of it I've read half of them I haven't but there's two books that I want to talk about one of them I don't have here with me but it's called The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. I feel like all of these favorites are so basic and like everyone has heard of them but if you've heard of Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo so many times and haven't read it yet this is your final sign to read it. It is so so good. I love it so much. It was, I think, one of the second or third books that I read, and it kind of made me fall back in love with reading. It's so easy to read. It has such a good, like, moral behind the story. Just has such a good meaning, and it's also just super interesting. It's about a Hollywood actress and all of the behind the scenes of her life. Obviously, she marries seven men, and it's about her marriages with them, why she marries them, and I think also, like, the behind the scenes of Hollywood is so interesting. How she worked her way up from nothing, and the way the book is written is so good. I love it so much. There's so many Many relationships and just so many cute sweet moments but also some like devastating moments as well it is such a great book please 
please read it. And the second book that I want to recommend is Swear on This Life. Rachel said that this book is super similar to a lot of Colleen Hoover books. So if you like Colleen Hoover, you'll probably like this book as well. And I read this before any Colleen Hoover, so like I'm not here to compare the two. But it is so stinking cute and I love it so much. It's so little, it's so easy to read. I love when the text is big and there's not many pages. Like that's kind of my ideal book. <laughs> I don't really understand why, but I find some books super cheesy but really good and some books really cheesy and really bad because of the cheesiness and I don't know where that line comes into play I don't know why I think that about certain things this book is so cheesy but it is so good I actually finished reading this one yesterday this is Reminders of Him by Colleen Hoover and it was so cheesy that I didn't like it that much I didn't hate it didn't love it not really here to talk about this book but I am warning you this is cheesy but in the best way possible like it's just so great I really like the concept of how it's written as well the main character finds a book that is actually written about her life from her ex-boyfriend I guess and so it's kind of like two stories it's a story of her reading the book now and reacting to it and you also get to read along the book with her if that makes sense so you're reading about her past and then reading about her present and it's really 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 great this and seven husbands of Evelyn Hugo are definitely my two favorite books I've read not that I've read a crazy amount but if you're wanting to get back into reading or you're into reading and haven't read these two yet definitely give them a go while we're in my office I want to show you some of my favorite active wear because I keep all of my active wear in my office and I feel like Gymshark have just been nailing their new releases recently so I'm here to show you them. I am wearing pajama shorts so please ignore that. Gymshark came out with some new Vital Seamless a little while ago so this is kind of like old news but the orange Vital Seamless is just iconic. I think it's one of the best colors I've ever done. I've seen it look so good on so many people's skin tones and Vital Seamless is just like iconic like it's just a staple and this orange is just so vibey. Also off topic but I have been sizing up in my activewear and normal clothes recently and honestly game changing it's so weird to like see your body change and go through all of that mentally but then for you to still continue buying the same size in your clothing knowing that it's uncomfortable it doesn't fit well but just because you refuse to go up a size it literally was driving me crazy so I started ordering an extra large and everything just fits me so much better and I'm feeling more comfortable in my clothes more confident in the outfits I'm wearing and I just love it so like maybe it's because these are a bigger size maybe it's because they're orange and really really cute I don't know but these have just been a huge vibe lately. And Gymshark's newest release has been their new Adapt Animal. I was never a fan of the Adapt Animal previously. It was really tight, kind of uncomfortable, and I just didn't vibe with it. But this drop, they've added more stretch to the material, and they are just so comfortable. Like, they've just made a tiny change to it, and now these are probably one of my favorite shorts from Gymshark. They are biker shorts, but I just pull them up to be a little bit shorter. I love this color blue as well. They came out with a fun yellow too. And I also unexpectedly really love the sports bras. They're a high neck, long line sports bra and they have the same back as the classic like crossover adapt camo sports bra. I would say they're light to medium support but I just love them so much. I feel like they're so flattering. They just sit exactly where they should and so extremely comfortable and I don't find that I'm like oozing out of these. I love them so much and I really didn't expect to. I feel like I've just talked your ear off for way too long. So that is going to be the end of this little favorites portion of this vlog. So random and like sorry that I didn't vlog for the rest of the week and this is now what you get but I love talking about things I love and I love watching other people talk about things that they love so I hope that this was somewhat entertaining <laughs> I love you all so so much thank you for watching making it to the end of this video and I'll catch you in my next video in the very near future bye